This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories. In cybersecurity news, in light of the increasing cyber threats, nations in the Indo-Pacific region are advised to give priority to cybersecurity to protect their economies and infrastructure. It is emphasized that collaborative efforts are necessary to tackle the changing challenges in the digital realm. Experts stress the significance of developing strong cybersecurity frameworks and information sharing mechanisms to counter cyber threats in the region. Intel has released its fifth annual product security report for 2023, highlighting its commitment to cybersecurity. Intel's CEO Pat Gelsinger has challenged the industry to match Intel's investments in the field. ABI Research ranked Intel number one in product security assurance across the silicon industry, with Intel outperforming AMD in various categories. Intel emphasizes its dedication to continuous improvement in product security assurance. Cybersecurity experts are divided over a proposed ban on ransomware payments. Supporters say it would disrupt the economic model of cybercriminals and discourage attacks while opponents worry it could leave victims with no way to recover their data. The debate highlights the challenges involved in combating ransomware, with differing opinions on the most effective strategies to address the growing threat. In artificial intelligence news, Google CEO Sundar Pichai has called the company's failure to generate images during the launch of the Gemini operating system unacceptable. Pichai has promised a thorough investigation and a commitment to rectifying the issue. The Gemini operating system, which was designed to provide enhanced privacy, faced significant backlash due to performance problems and technical glitches. These comments from Pichai emphasize Google's dedication to addressing user concerns and improving the reliability of its products. OpenAI has developed Sora, a text-to-video generator that uses GPT-3.5 to turn written prompts into video content. The technology combines textual input with video output, demonstrating the potential of multimodal AI for creative content generation. Despite some challenges related to coherence and accuracy, Sora represents a significant step forward for the field, opening up new possibilities for diverse applications. Intel is aiming to provide chips for 100 million AI-powered personal computers by 2025. The company plans to integrate specialized AI accelerators into its processors to enhance the performance and efficiency of the devices. This initiative aligns with Intel's broader strategy to advance AI technologies and highlights the growing integration of AI into everyday computing devices. In data management news, LinkedIn has open-sourced OpenHouse, its data lakehouse management tool, to encourage collaboration and innovation in the data analytics community. OpenHouse helps simplify the management of data lakehouses, which combine data lakes and data warehouses for improved efficiency. LinkedIn's move reflects its commitment to advancing data analytics solutions and fostering a collaborative environment. Informatica has launched its cloud data access management solution, which combines data access control with classification and metadata tools for data-driven organizations. The solution uses the Claire AI engine to automate sensitive data classifications, ensuring compliance and trust. CDM also integrates with Informatica's Intelligent Data Management Cloud to provide secure and automated AI and analytics use cases, addressing data privacy challenges and enhancing security across diverse environments. Insurers are adopting data mesh strategies to increase their agility during digital transformation. This approach involves decentralizing data ownership and creating domain-specific data products to promote flexibility and collaboration. Insurers are leveraging data mesh to adapt to the changing digital landscape and align with their goals of being responsive and adaptable to technological changes. In Embracing Digital Transformation News On this week's episode of the Embracing Digital Transformation podcast, Darren discusses the convergence of HPC, supercomputers, cloud technology, and artificial intelligence with the CEO of Parallel Works. Parallel Works offers a simplified approach to managing workloads and dynamic supercomputing clusters, both on-premises and in the cloud. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. 
If you've enjoyed this episode, check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and embrace the digital revolution.